Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Can y'all just put your hands together like we down south and let's go to church. I feel like having old church today. Come on. Yeah. Come on. In the name of Jesus. 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 We have. We have a victory. In the name. In the name of Jesus. In the name. and highly favored. How are you today? I am <coughs> blessed. How many of you know that we have the victory? What about you, Mr. G? Do you have the victory? Amen. We have the victory in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The song, I thought I'd open us up by taking us back. You know, sometimes those old songs, back to the basic old songs are good for us. You know, we have to, we have to remember where we came from in order to get where we're going. Like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how how are you doing this this uh, episode, Miss G? Did you not hear me? I said I'm blessed and highly favored. I know, but on a cordial one. <laughs> 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 
How I, I put it this way, how have your week been in short? <laughs> well, my week is starting off blessed because this is the second day of the week. Yesterday was the first day of the week, Sunday, Monday. Oh, yeah. So we'll see how the week goes. So far, so I'm good. blessed. All right, all right. Like the song say. I'm blessed okay, in well, the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed when I come and when I go. Finish okay. the song, people. <laughs> okay, Fred. Okay, Fred. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And that's song by Fred Hammond for those that don't know. Okay, oh, they but know. I wanna, I wanna <laughs> look, let's get started. We got, we got some great gospel music on our show called Beyond the Beyond the Brim. All right. <laughs> yeah. Beyond the brim. So, uh, uh, <laughs> what was in your coffee? What went beyond the brim? Did it go beyond the brim, or did it stay like right there at the brim? It stayed right in my stomach. So far. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I didn't have I didn't have uh, you have beyond the brim. No, I had something to give me wings. I needed my Red Bull. Oh, I needed some yeah, wings this yeah. morning. Wow. <laughs> I needed to fly. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I like, went beyond the brim this morning. <laughs> like, like Yolanda Adams said, I believe I can fly. Well, I'm going to touch beyond the sky because the sky is limit. I want to go beyond the sky. I want to go to the galaxies. My wings. You want to spread your wings and fly away. I want to go beyond the galaxies. Okay, Star Trek. No. <laughs> All righty. I was a Star Trek fan. No, no but, but you know, my my week last week was good. Well, praise God for that. Um, this week, like you say, uh, so is yet let's to... forget about those things behind us and let's move forward and go on into the future. Amen. Amen. Like I just said. <laughs> How many of you know you have to think about the things and remember the things in the past so you can move forward? Amen? So, now, I was just saying that I had a good week last week. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll take that. This week, uh, as we are endeavoring into this week, that's a different story. Because uh, for those that don't, for those who know me, Miss G, uh, from doing my other shows and being on the radio, they know that I don't like the cold it's weather. Burning, burning on the radio. Yeah, that hell, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, they know that I don't like the cold weather, and it's been some. Oh, I snow. love it! I love it! I love it! I love it! Yeah, I love it! I love it! I love it! She loves it, y'all. She I love loves it, it. I love it. I love it. Me, not so much. <laughs> they said opposites attract. Hmm. That's why we've been together beyond the thirty-four years. Yes, ma'am. You know, opposites attract. <laughs> y'all are through the grace of God. <laughs> All right. So okay, uh, well, we're moving on. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. And I just, but I just wanted to put that out there. You know, this uh, is for those that are are living. Uh, uh, in, well, actually, the winter storm is uh, all across the United States. If you've been paying attention to the weather, uh, uh, there's been weather winter storm watches across the United States. Here in Oklahoma, we've had uh, record-breaking snowstorms uh, and record-breaking temperatures from what I understand. And you guys bundle up, you know, keep warm because I tell you, it, it the way the climate is, you never know. You never know. The earthquakes been happening in diverse places. So we know the end times are coming soon. Ain't that right, Miss Jean? Yep, the end times are up on us. So be ready, be ready, be ready. I'm not TD Jakes, but be ready. Okay, and it's get ready, get ready, get ready. Get well, ready. whatever. <laughs> you correct me. That's see, 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 see. <laughs> All right, you ready to pray, Doctor Herndon? Yeah, I'm a pray. I'm a pray so I can. What the heck was that? I'm a pray so I can open us up 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today, Father. We thank you for this episode of Beyond the Brim, Father. We pray that someone receives a breakthrough. Someone receives uh, uh, to be saved, Father. Those that are listening uh, and those that will be listening, Father, we ask that you touch those that need the healing. We ask that you touch those that are sick, shut in, and in the hospital, Father, we ask that you touch those that are traveling on the highways and in the airways, Father, and on the train. And, Father, we ask that you keep the traffic safe, Father. Keep it safe from harm and danger. Be the auto mechanic of that airplane. Be the auto mechanic of that car and that of that locomotive train, Father. We know that you control it all, Father. And, Father, we ask that you continue to touch our finances, Father. Touch our finances so that we can continue to grow and bless the ministry of radio, Father. In Jesus, your son's name. Yeah. Amen. 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 So, uh, look, we're going to go into another song, if that's okay. Yes, sir. Yes, and, sir. And this song, y'all, is called... You've been good to me. How many of you know that? This is a new song by Zacardi Cartes. All right now. Come on, Zacardi Cartes. Bring it. He said, this is his son, y'all. Y'all better listen. Nobody else the credit. Oh, you've 
gotta get this thing together here. I know what you're talking about. We got to let them know that they got to give God the praise. We got to do that. All they got to do is get up. And get their grace on. Right here. That was the sound of Imani, and we have an alarm. We have an alert coming up. So, Mr. G, if you can turn off the alert, uh, and uh, we're going to play another song. And the alert was calling for the song, Let Me Worship, Mr. G. So, we're going to get into some worship music. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of times we have to uh, get our minds in consecration with Christ. Praising Him, and you know, those, uh, like I said, the last song was uh, from actually good friends of ours called The Sound of Imani, um, a.k.a. Uh, Dr. Carol and Gerald Urban of uh, Right Now Praise Radio. So, uh, we want to go uh, put our mind in worship. You know, we have been uh, a lot of times uh, 
Christ wants us to cry, cry out to him in worship as well as praise. So with this song, Let Me Worship. Ms. GR, have you put your mind into the way of worship? All the time. So here we go. I was created to worship. We were created to worship. Yes, and that's yes, another yes. song I'll be uh, throwing in next week. But in the meantime, let me worship. Regardless of what we go through, in the storm, in the trouble, in the midst of it all, we can just worship in spirit and in truth. We give you all the praise and all the honor, Father God. Nothing less of you in spirit and truth. Let me hold you close to my heart. If I fall away from your love, I fall away from your love. You give me strength from heaven above. Let me worship you in spirit and in truth. Spirit and truth. Oh, yes, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Father God, move in a mighty way, Father God. Let me worship you in spirit and truth. Let me hold you close to my heart. Let me hold you close to my heart. And if I fall away from your love, keep it going but you got anything you would like to to say would you like to do your oh let's your... let's um go for our scripture for today okay and um we're gonna go for our scripture and then i'm just gonna say a little bit something before i read the scripture you know we're living in a day and age where you know in the past everything was like you you knew that you were secure and you felt secure. But as we have come through this uh, pandemic, people that had careers or had houses or, or, you know, different things, even even financial, you know, like, um, it's not as secure as it used to be. And, you know, God just wants us to learn how to depend upon him People have been saying in the past, yeah, I trust God, I depend on God. But this is truly, truly a test of time. And, you know, you know, and God, he wants our true worship 
and he really wants us to worship him in spirit and truth. And he's weeding out the ones that are faking it and shaking it and the ones that are true and going to stay with him. Okay. So when you're dealing with challenges of life, God is developing your spiritual muscles. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. God knows which doors he wants to close and which ones he wants open for you. If certain doors would not close in your life, you would not move. You would stay at that job. You would stay where you are. And how can you receive better if you don't allow yourself the opportunity that God wants to give you? Sometimes God opens up different doors and takes us um, to that door to set us on a different path because he knows the plans that he has for us because he wants us to prosper and he wants us to grow. But if you stay stagnated and stifle just in one position, you're not going to grow. So just stay the course and keep the faith. Our scripture reads Hebrews 11 and 1, and it's coming from the King James Version. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when you're feeling down and you're feeling low and you feel like giving up, remember, right when you want to give up, that's when things begin to break. Be blessed. Amen. Amen. Faith is the things hoped for. No, let's let's say it right, Dr. Herman. Okay. Faith. Now faith now faith is a substance, the substance of, of things, things hoped for, for the, the evidence of, of things not seen. Not seen. Okay. Amen. okay, we got, we got, we got Hebrews eleven and one. So um man. Uh, that was some. That was some good teaching. That was some good teaching there, Miss G. Glory be to God. I so, take no credit for nothing. So let's get back into. Uh, I got one more song of worship. Okay. Uh, all of us on. And this is by another friend of ours. Somebody that is out of uh, Texas. And uh, 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 congratulations to her and her husband and her family. They just had a little girl. Well, and congratulations she's been, uh, to them. Taking care of uh, the baby, she says, and that uh, she's going to be coming out with some new music this year. And um, I'm like, oh, well, all right. And this is coming from the artist uh, Renee. Uh, what's Renee's last name? Renee. <laughs> Danielle Renee is her last name. And our first name is Danielle, and the last name is Renee. I'm sorry, y'all. I haven't had my second cup of coffee yet. But, um, yeah, it's coming from the artist Danielle Renee, and she says, As we worship... As we worship 
Miss G, did you know this is Black History Month? No, I didn't know this was Black History Month. I thought all year was Black History Month because we are black. Oh, Lord. Tell her Jesus, tell her Jesus. <laughs> well, this is, did you know Emphasis that this, on black history. Did, did yes, you know I know they emphasize this month as black history, but people, 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 please learn your black history, not don't just take it one month out of the year. Learn it all year because black history is American history. And without black history, there would be no American history. That's all I got to say. And I'm dropping the mic on that. Well, without black history, a lot of things would not have been built. I dropped my mic. And, well, pick it back up. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but uh, I found some great information that I w would like to share at our half, our, our, our second half of our show this morning, which is 30, we are 30 minutes till uh, the end. My clock says 20 minutes till. Well, 20 minutes till the end is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I am not perfect. <laughs> I'm just accurate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. Far from being perfect, y'all. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, let's get to the black history because uh, okay, our people uh, need to know. Okay, our people are going to know. Okay. In okay, just okay. a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, let me put my one cent in. I didn't, you know, I didn't say two cents because we'd be longer. But anyway, in my one oh, cent, geez. in my one cent that I'm going to put in with this, you guys, uh, as she said and stated, learn your correct uh, African American Black history, whatever you want to call it. You know, because if you if we as African Americans are Black history people. Had not invented a lot of things, uh, uh, there wouldn't be uh, uh, no America infrastructure at all, uh, such as the stoplight. Uh, we invented the stoplight, the shoehorn. Did you know that we invented the shoehorn, Miss G? Yeah, and every time you go to the refrigerator and get something to eat, think of that black man. I'm going to let you look up the name. We also invented uh, refrigeration. A long, I just said that. Long, I, well, I'm, I'm saying it. Long, okay. long trip refrigeration. Okay, okay, okay. And also, uh, we uh, also invented hair products. Did you know that? Uh, what's the lady's name? Um, um, I'm not, I'm, Madam uh, C.J. Madam C.J. Walker. I have to know that as a, a black female. Madam C.J. Walker, yes. yes. Thank you very much. Uh, Madam C.J. Walker uh, was the first black millionaire, woman, female millionaire. And she invented uh, hair products and went door to door yeah. selling her hair yeah. products. That's why I said thank look, you very much. Look, I'm going to let, I'm going to be quiet. And, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. Get the gap. And, and, um, I'm <laughs> Let's gonna, get to this black history. <laughs> I'm going to put in this uh, thing that I found. So you guys enjoy it. And then All coming right. up after that, we, we have go, some people. more great music. All right, here we go. In this video, we will be highlighting 10 inventors and scientists that helped develop modern society. Number one, Marie Van Britten Brown. Born in 1922, she was the inventor of the first home security system. As a nurse living in Queens, New York, Marie responded to the high crime rate of her neighborhood by implementing her own security system. This system included door peepholes, cameras that allowed her to see who was at the front door, and two-way microphones. If needed, there was also a push button that notified police. Number two, Garrett Morgan. Born in 1877, he was the inventor of the three light traffic signal and the safety hood. He patented the mechanical traffic signal and sold it to General Electric for only 40K. His safety hood, which filtered out pollutants and smoke, became the foundation of future gas masks. His biggest challenge was trying to sell the safety hoods to the South. Rumor has it, as a marketing technique, he hired a white actor to pose as the inventor and disguised himself as an Indian chief. They would wear the masks, enter areas of poor air quality, and would come out breathing fine. Number three. Louis Latimer. 
Born in 1848, he was the inventor and draftsman that helped patent the light bulb and telephone. He worked with Alexander Graham Bell and assisted him in drafting the patent for the telephone. He also worked with Thomas Edison and improved his design of the light bulb. Edison's light bulb was lit using an electrified filament of paper and would burn out rather quickly. Louis Latimer improved that design and patented the incandescent light bulb with carbon filament. He later improved the manufacturing process and developed the threaded socket that we're familiar with today. Number 4. Otis Boykin Born in 1920, his work with electrical resistors led to his invention of the control unit for the pacemaker. His patent of the wire resistor had the ability to, quote, withstand extreme accelerations and shocks and great temperature changes without danger of breakage of the fine resistance wire or other detrimental effects, end quote. This precise regulation allowed the device to create electrical impulses that would help to regulate irregular heartbeats. Number five, George Carruthers. Born in 1939, he is the inventor of the UV camera that was famously used on the Apollo 16 mission back in 1972. This camera provided the first evidence for the existence of molecular hydrogen in space. UV emissions give clear indication of the temperature of really hot objects. However, most UV is absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere. By placing the camera on the moon, it captured hundreds of images of new stars and nebula. His inventions also captured photos of Halley's Comet. Number 6. Bessie Blount Griffin Born in 1914, she invented an electronic feeding device for amputees. Bessie studied nursing and developed a passion for physical therapy, a profession that was not yet formalized during her time. Often the equipment that she used to treat her patients were inadequate, so she used innovative methods to treat them. One of the ways she enhanced her patients' treatments was by incorporating interpretive dance. She also made sure her patients felt confident in their own abilities by allowing them to perform basic functions like eating. Her electronic feeding device allowed patients to feed themselves through the use of a motor and a tube. Number 7. Lonnie Johnson Born in 1949, he is the inventor of the Super Soaker. He was a natural tinker and grew up building robots and go-karts out of scraps. He worked as an engineer for the U.S. Air Force and NASA and worked on multiple space projects including the Jupiter Galileo probe mission and the Mars Observer project. While working on one of his personal projects at home, he accidentally shot a stream of water across his bathroom. This accident would be the basis of his super soaker gun. This toy made more than 200 million in sales and eventually became one of the world's best-selling toys. Number 8. Charles Henry Turner Born in 1867, he was a zoologist and the first person to discover that insects' behavior can vary based on social interactions. Turner published more than 70 papers and served as one of the pioneers for animal behavior. He also showed that insects are capable of hearing and learning. One of his most famous projects he worked on was with honeybees and their ability to recognize pattern and color. Number 9. Mark E. Dean Born in 1957, he is the inventor of the colored PC and the first gigahertz chip. Along with his partner Dennis Moeller, they developed the internal architecture of the ISA which allows you to plug accessories like keyboards or printers onto a monitor regardless of what brand it is or how long ago it was bought. He eventually developed the colored PC and with a team created the first gigahertz chip which can conduct a billion calculations in one second. Number 10, May C. Jemison. Born in 1956, she is a physician, engineer, and the first female African-American astronaut. She attended Stanford where she received her Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering. Upon graduation, she attended Cornell University to pursue medicine. Jemison is fluent in Russian, Japanese, and Swahili, and worked with the Peace Corps for two and a half years as a medical officer. In June 1987, she became the first African-American woman to be selected for the NASA program. And in 1992, she served the role of mission specialist and became the first African-American woman to travel in space. These pioneers of science have pushed the boundaries of innovation and have served as the foundation for future generations. Along with their many inventions, their legacy lies in the young minds that continue to imagine and tinker in hopes of creating a better world. We will continue to grow, we will continue to challenge the status quo, and we will move and push society forward.
He'll bring rivers to the dry land and water to the wasteland. These are the best days. He's doing his best work right now. Do you know or do you see it? Just trust him and believe it. Oh, I'm
right, Miss G. It's doing something new. It's Miss Martha Don't Minuzzi. Don't you see it? In All the right. best days. Can't you see that God is doing something new in you and in me and everybody that's tuned in? Yes, yes. God is doing um, something different because we have to learn how to worship him differently where we, you know, go to in the church and we've not been able to go in a church where we've been around family and not been able to be around family. So there's new ways that we have to learn how to deal with things. So and in that, God is working and he's doing what he's doing. Amen. And he's standing on his word. We have to stand on his promises and mm. never forget that God is a man that he cannot lie. So if God said it and it's in the book, make sure it's in the book. Read yeah. and read your book, people. The Bible says study to read, show thyself approved. Right? Our work men need it not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing Biting the, the word, word of the word 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 of truth. truth. So, look, you guys, we are coming down to uh, the end of the show. Uh, we're, we're Not above the, we the rim. We're, we're above, joy the, above the brim. brim. <laughs> above the brim. Yeah, above the brim. Where joy, love, and peace flows, and God is in control. Yeah, we got yeah. a couple more songs that we're okay, going to okay. be presenting. And, oh, then, really? and then we're going to close out. We're going to close out after... Oh, we went over. No, we're not going over. We, uh, I'm still oh. showing I'm still showing about uh, oh, well, maybe one song left. Okay, we okay then. And then we want to uh, present Christ to those that don't have Christ, that don't know Christ. We want to present, uh, at least get you started and share with you about Christ a little bit and then uh, help you find a church home or pray that you can find a church home in your area or somebody that will pastor well, you in your area. a lot of churches are right, accepting people everywhere. Uh, everywhere. And no, no matter where you are, you you can become a member at Online. like the one that, that I ain't going to say no names because I don't want to start naming names, but you can be uh, in, in Dubai, you can be in, in Arizona, you can be anywhere in the world and be a member. Right. Uh, e. Dewey Smith, yeah, I said it. He had a great, awesome ministry if you're in the Florida area and would like to visit. I believe he's Bishop, he's L, a, Bishop uh, Martin. Bishop George <laughs> Martin out of San Bernardino, California. <laughs> he had a Awesome okay, let's church. not name names no more. Um, uh, Dr. Lee Rod Bratner. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He <laughs> play too much. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, the main thing is find somewhere to uh, worship online. Or, you know, or if you're going to go to the building, just be precautious. You know, wear your mask. Wash your hands, you know. But anyway, I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out, though, Mr. G., with this song, uh, I'm going to be interviewing this young lady tomorrow night on right. on um, uh, on the Dr. Byron Dion radio show uh, and the exclusive interviews that we have. And I'll be interviewing this young lady. Her name is called Miss Ariel, and she's out of Canada, another right, Canadian. All right. All right, so all right. we'll be interviewing. <laughs> we'll be interviewing her. And I believe her, her uh, it's going to be a couple of them on. So we'll be interviewing uh, all of them tomorrow night. It won't be live. It'll be recorded for live. So look for the flyer. And also, uh, KBDH Radio website is down for the moment. You can still listen to great gospel music on two of our channels. But you would have to log on to the gospel Discussions show dot com, and uh, you will see uh, links there that will uh, carry you to the channels. And um, uh, hopefully, the website should be back up in a couple of days, uh, or hopefully today. Uh, you know, just pray. So, in the meantime, you guys, uh, Miss G, I'm going to go out with that because of our time. 
All um, right. Peace out, you guys. Thanks for tuning peace, in. Peace, peace, peace. Above the brim. Above the brim. Where love, joy, peace. Keep it alive. Size and God is in control. You're going to keep it alive. Yeah. Have a blessed week, everyone. Okay. Keep it locked <laughs> right here, as she uh, was saying. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Here's something special by Ariel. Everybody has something special. Make me happy inside. I feel it deep in my heart. Make me smile so wide. I laugh until my cheeks hurt. You call me precious and kind. You look at me and say you're mine. When I think about it. I can't deny, I get all choked up, cause your love is something special to me, incomparable, it's just something I can't deny, and you're always on time, like water in the So real.